thing that I notice with my kids is that if I if I don't have Nesquik in their milk, mm. they're not drinking it. So, you know, I have that sugar component, you know, and I think a little bit of sugar is okay. But as my daughter is reaching puberty, and with the amount of sugar that I'm seeing like put on the tables at these birthday parties, I'm, I'm quite, I think it's very irresponsible what's going on. So in terms of tips, you know, with Truvia, you can, uh, you know, use it to make your lemonade. You can use it, you know, to sprinkle on top of maybe some kind of gluten-free cereal that you get at Whole Foods, or something that's not as like, you know, sugary and gross that kids want to eat, like, you know, Fruit Loops or whatever. Um, that's, and, my, that's my house. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, there, there, there are a lot of tricks, and I think, you know, you know, you always tell you, look, it's not a restaurant, okay, this is what you're going to eat. If you don't like it, then you go to your room and you can starve, okay? You know, I always pull the line, there's kids in Africa that are I starving. Do and they're like, I know there's kids in Africa. I'm like, no, you don't understand because you've never been there. But truly, like, you know, it's about, you know, for, for us, we use, we, we cut up fresh fruit, we make Macedonia. Mm -hmm. If you give them, like, we, we chop up berries, fresh mint, put a little truvy if you want a little bit extra sweet, and then you squeeze a, a lemon and an orange, and you let it sit. And it's, it's incredible. It's a nice, fresh fruit, you know, almost like salad for the kids to eat. And just try to push more things like that, you know, just cut back the sugar.